So this is on the pseudo first order reaction. So here is the index I am going to talk about the determination of rate constant of acid catalyzed hydrolysis of an ester and also the temperature dependence of rate constant. So here is the typical picture of a pseudo first order reaction. So in a chemical reaction involving more than one reactant the overall order of the reaction when experimentally determined by taking excess concentration of all the reactants except any one of the reactant will be found lower in magnitude than the overall order determined in presence of smaller concentration of all the reactants. So the altered and the reduced order of the reaction is called as the pseudo order of the reaction. Thus, in a second order reaction, when one of the reactants concentration is in excess 10 to 100 times of the other reactant, then the reaction follows a first order kinetics and such a reaction is called as pseudo first order reaction. In a reaction of the type A plus B will give the product with the constant K2, the rate of the reaction. So rate is equal to K2 A into B where K2 is the rate constant of the second order reaction. If concentration of A is really large compared to the concentration of B then during the reaction amount of A consumed will be equal to the amount of B reacting with A. Since B concentration is smaller than that of A, change in the concentration of A after the completion of reaction is assumed to be negligible. Hence, concentration of A is considered to remain constant even after the completion of reaction. So, the equation becomes rate dash is equal to K2 dash into B. The rate dash is nothing but the rate of the reaction with the excess A. K2 dash is nothing but the pseudo first order rate constant. And K2 of A is equal to second order rate constant. So that's into concentration of A. Thus, rate of the pseudo first order reaction alters when concentration of B is altered and shows a first order kinetics.